the website has suggested that uh, the city's not vibrant enough, that it's boring in the centre of town. You get a lot of tourists there, don't, though, don't you? I mean, do they go there wanting a vibrant, excited city, or do they want to have a holiday? No, they just want cappuccinos and uh, focaccias and the bruschetta. They want all that. They don't. They don't go. I. I haven't seen any. This uh, Tracy is peak hour. Look. There's no. Where are all the people, John? This. They're not here. They're too afraid to come out today. They don't want to be upset with the tears and the crying. They're too upset. Perth is a very nice city. It's a nice place to bring up children, and it's very clean. Uh, you know, in the Middle East, they have helicopter gunships. Here we have helicopter brushing ships. <laughs> Every morning, they have helicopters come over with men and long brushes, and they scrub the city clean. Hello, I'm John Howard. I am. But, sir, uh, in theory, first essential is to find out where it is that you are speaking from. Now, I am speaking from here. <laughs> you see, I'm not speaking from over here, or indeed over here. Although I'd rather. <laughs> Liberal branch members are advised to batten down, to shut up, and count their toes. <laughs> I've read most of the first page, and it's a wonderful book. The first in an occasional reading from his new book, By the Wire, by John Dust. <coughs> it's good. If you get 120 boys and you stick them all in a big house together, there's going to be, you can't escape it, there'll be, there'll be lots of pushing and shoving and towel flicking and, and there'll be lots of violence. And in, in those days, there was, every day there was something, some kind of bullying type activity. Right. Yeah. And also from the, the masters, of course, there was a lot of institutionalised bullying right. and a lot of uh, insensitivity. Right. I can imagine. And of course there was a system, and the system was not designed for people like Jack right. or me. Right. 